Hey guys, <laughs> up next in the list of old junk is this. This is a Federal Pacific electric panel. <laughs> There's not much left on the door. There's not much left actually of it all. We'll take, a, take the cover off here in a second. Uh, a couple of things that I like to tell my students when we're talking about these things is identification. So you know it's an FPE panel if it says FPE, obviously. But this one doesn't. However, another very big distinguishing feature is the fact that the main breaker is almost always, always or almost always, on the outside. So this is a 200 amp, and you can see, ooh, and there's not much snap action left in it. So main breaker on the outside, that's a dead giveaway for an FPE panel. And then obviously inside, somewhere it might say Federal Pacific. Stab lock, there we go. That is a trademark name for Federal Pacific Breakers. That's another way to know. Look, this has got a GFI breaker in it. That's really cool. We'll look at that in a second. Because I've never seen a Federal Pacific GFI breaker. This panel's at school, but I don't, I don't have a lot of time to mess around with stuff, and so I'm taking the opportunity while I can. So there you go. There's the inside. There's the leaf. So this might have ridden around in somebody's truck for a while. Okay, 200 amp, so you're really squishy. Yeah, main breaker, there's like, there's hardly any snap action left in it at all. There you go, they're old. I mean, these things were, they can't, I don't remember when they came about, 60s? I know they've had a lot of legal issues. So Stab Lock is a, is a trade name for Federal Pacific. You get a couple, like, real legitimate two poles, a 30 and a 60. We'll look at that GFI breaker in a second. And then these breakers, it's actually a pretty cool setup. So I'm gonna take this out if I can. It does not fuse itself to the bus bar yet. Okay, so I've got two of them in my hand right now. So this is just a regular 15 amp single pull stab lock. So that little thing is what makes contact with the bus bar. They're thin, I mean, they're really, there's not a lot to them. And it's got, it's got a fairly decent snap action sound. It also feels kind of kind of mushy. So that's a single pull breaker. That's what that looks like. And then I have a two pull breaker. But wait, there's more. This is a 40 amp. They came in all different flavors. So same idea. Snap action is yeah, it's okay. There's your terminals. And then there's your there's your contact with the bus bar. So now what makes this actually pretty cool is so there's the there's the bus bar. You can see there's one phase and there's another phase and they're separated by plastic. So this is what makes this design pretty awesome. You can stab this in like this across two phases and you've got a two pole 40 breaker. That's awesome. However, you can also run it half space down and have both, both stabs hit the same phase and now you've got a twin breaker. So that's, that's a pretty cool feature. Is it useful? Meh. But I think it's kind of cool that you can do it. There it is. And let's check out this awesome GFI breaker. So 15 amp off on. Obviously, it's not going to test. But we'll pull it out and look at it. <clears throat> Much beefier contact there, so that's cool. Still only a single pull. So, ooh, there's your neutral. We'll go under the neutral bar. I'm assuming that silvery screw at the top is your neutral terminal and then that's your hot, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I've never seen a GFI FPE breaker. But there they go, it exists. Does it say? doesn't say anything about who manufactured it. Oh, there, stab lock, so it is. It's an FPE breaker, there it is. Pretty cool. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna put that back together and throw it back in the closet. Pretty cool. You should know what these things look like so you know not to work on them. Okay, one more old panel, then I'm gonna turn it off for the day. This is a general switch. So it says on the breaker, General Switch Company. 
get this focus. Nope, not there. General Switch Company. I don't know much about these panels at all. This is only the second one I've ever seen. I had the opportunity to work on one as an apprentice a number of years ago. The guy didn't want to replace his panel. I was, we, the company was trying to get him to because I wanted to steal it. Well, that's not the only reason. <laughs> but I did want it. I, like I say, I got a thing for old junk. So here, well, you can tell this one's really old. I don't know where it came from. It's at the school. But you can tell this one's really old because it's got this old knob and tube style wiring inside it. So it had been around for a while. Breakers are kind of interesting. They've got a real satisfying snap action. But they're very lightweight. And there's not much to them. This one is from a bygone era when breakers cost $3.42. It's amazing. Don't know much about it. It's got copper bus bars. That's cool. That's a nice feature. 20 amps. Here you go, general switch. I don't know anything about them. But there's one without the cover. Cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.